Well, howdy, 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 everybody. Teresa here, just me and the puppies. Huh, Charlie? It is uh, July 24th, 2018, Tuesday evening at 5 o'clock p.m. Let's do the weather real quick. Um, Let's see, right now. 83 degrees, feels like 89, the high will be 88, the low will be 73, is light thunderstorms and rain. Uh, let's see, what did it say? 80% chance of rain today, it's been raining off and on. Uh, humidity is at 71%. Uh, the wind is a very, very gusty 14 miles per hour uh, from the southwest. Uh, the air quality is good at 34. The sun uh, rise was at 6.51, and the sunset will be at 8.36 p.m. And tomorrow, we only have a 30% chance of rain tomorrow. But every day, well, on laundry days, I think, will I get to actually hang the laundry out today or not? <laughs> and so far, I haven't got to hang the laundry out in a while. But that's just how it is. Um, so you hang it on your drying racks inside or on hangers and hang it like in the bathroom, you know, in the shower curtain, on the shower curtain rod. So uh, before I start reading off the comments, which I still have to pull up and everything, so please forgive me, grab something if you have something to drink, because it's probably going to be a long one, and I'm going to apologize, I'm going to apologize up front for that one, I'm a little discombobbled, not too badly though, not as bad as sometimes, I even curled my hair for you people, anyway, first I want to show my, my wonderful friend Vicki Pernard. Uh, she is on here at Finding Vicky. She just started selling paparazzi jewelry. I wanted to show what she sent me. I bought a couple necklaces. One, um, a bracelet. She, um, I picked it out, but she gave it to me for my birthday. She also made me a beautiful shawl that I'll be showing and stuff. So this is the, um, necklace, or the bracelet, I mean. Uh, it's a leather bracelet. It's all one unit. It comes with the different braids and this and then I love I like the really aqua beads. Of course, you know, living in Florida and stuff. So um I really like it. It's very, very adjustable. I have a little bit bigger wrists than most people, so yeah. Very nice. This one I won in a giveaway. I guess I won a giveaway with her. Um so she sent me this. She knows my favorite color is purple. And so I was going to kind of waited to get this stuff out to show you guys at the same time. Now, all of these pieces of jewelry are only $5 each. This is a lovely purple. And it ties with the satin ribbon. Purple and then the silver accents. And it's very different and stuff. Um, you know, and I kind of wondered what I was going to do for some cool jewelry. Once my wonderful friend Don Dunlap has now passed and stuff and and so uh, yeah so this is a good quality jewelry too guys I'm yeah I'm I'm kind of promoting her business um, I'm starting a new deal and it comes with earrings too by the way um, I'm starting a new deal with my friends because a lot of you guys sell different things and I'm more than happy to promote your business as long as you promote mine so we're gonna do what. A cross promotion thing so um, you know uh, like I said she is finding Vicki on here I'm sure there's contact information in her description if not look up Vicki Bernard on Facebook and get with her she's doing a live show tonight starting at 8 o'clock um, Eastern uh, Standard Time uh, until 10 o'clock Showing some more jewelry and stuff, but this is a really nice, long, adjustable necklace, which I love, and thank you for, I'm thrilled to be the winner of it. Next is, um, this is one I bought. I like the longer necklaces, and, um, because, you know, like I said, being a plus-size woman, I happen to like the longer necklaces, and the bit, the chunkier. It takes, takes a little bit of, of the look off of my boobs, which I don't really like people really 
staring at them. I try to minimize them. And so, but this is a nice, uh, heavy, uh, a good quality. And again, it comes with earrings. It is adjustable. Here's, you know, and it's a longer one. I accept all of these. Uh, each piece is $5. A few are $4. Um, so, you know, and then there's always a standard $4 I believe it's four dollar shipping rate, and then you do have tax, you know, depending on where you're at. So, and then this one I bought too. I really like it. I've always liked pearls, but pearls, and then I don't know if you can see there's diamonds with it. Again, there's earrings that come with it. I really like these earrings. I'm not sure I'll be able to wear them or not because I am allergic to a lot of stuff, but we'll see, you know. And it is adjustable too. So those are the pieces that I got. I could go absolutely crazy buying stuff. Um, but then again, I'm making my own pendant. So, you know, I can't go too crazy. Because, you know, I'm making pendants out of out of my um, uh, acrylic core and stuff. So, And then she made me this beautiful virus shawl for my birthday. Um and she was busy during my birthday and and uh, stuff. And this, this is just gorgeous, you guys. In fact, I waited to take it out until you guys were here with me. Um, but this is just stunning. And it's all sparkle. Look at that. It's all sparkle, guys. And then you come over to this. Look at that. She also does sell and make shawls and different knitwear so again if you're interested and you want to see some stuff i know she has some other shawls made she's got some other knitwear made you know so uh get with her and he and here is this beautiful purple which is a warmer purple than showing up on camera but it is beautiful and she'll make them if you're a plus size woman she will make them plus size like this one fit will fit me beautifully i have one that she made which was the Lost Souls one, um, that is, um, of the Skulls, another one of my favorites, and, um, yeah, so this is just absolutely stunning, and I thank you so much, Vicki, it is just beautiful, so, um, there's that, um, we mailed off Brad's mother's care package, and it, you know, it was eight, and it wasn't a very big box, but, you know, there's like a certain zone that you cross, and once you cross that zone, then the shipping gets really expensive. It was $18 even. And, uh, that was just domestic. Um, I guess maybe he did go with priority. But, we're not complaining. I mean, it was only a tin of cookies I had made her, and, um... Brad picked out a couple of these of the pendants like this. They were in different colors, of course, that I've been making. Um, he picked out the square ones because he was doing um, a leather tying thing. Um, we don't expect she's going to wear them, but it's just something pretty for her to look at. And so, but anyway, he picked out two of the square ones. And um, what else? Oh, I sent her a small painting just... Because she's always loved my artwork and wanted to have something just small she could set and look at. Um, what else did we send? Oh, a framed picture of us. Because she wanted a picture of us. And then some cards. Some heartfelt cards. Just telling her how much we love her and stuff. So, um, but yeah, it wasn't a very big box. But, you know, it will probably be about the last box that she gets. Or probably about the last one that she remembers. So, it's really important to both of us that she knows that she's getting closer to to um, passing away, that how loved she is, especially while she still has some capability and memory, the memory left. So, anyway, um, and I think if anything else, it helps us, especially Brad, because, you know, um, not easy. He's, you know, ne never easy, and, and um, you know, He's not there, and, you know, which is probably a good thing because with some of the stuff going on uh, with 
some of the family members. Probably a good thing because that. Otherwise, he might be in jail. <laughs> you know what I mean? It might be in jail. So anyway, uh, what else? Oh, I was gonna tell you guys real fast. Last night, I did get feeling better, but I never did play with my sewing machine because I typically do clean house at night, and so. You know, once Brad went to bed and stuff, and it was kind of a wreck because he'd been home for a couple of days. And, you know, we get busy, and then we both get a little lazy when he's off work. Uh, or we're, either we're busy or we're lazy or both. And so then last night once he went to work and stuff, or went to bed, I cleaned house. And uh, I got everything all thick and span and nice again. Made another hat. Started another hat. And then I'm just still watching uh, Grey's Anatomy and because I'm getting so excited about Orange is the New Black, New Season Done 27. Just three days, people. And then my friend Linda, my, my bestie, said that that movie Gone Baby Gone is really a good one. And then I think it's called, is it Dark Tourist or Strange Tourist? I can't remember. I'll have to look. I got it click on here anyway and get my um uh my thing ready to do the comment i'll look it up for you guys but it it's on netflix it looks like it could be very interesting now the first episode i really went into it was about latin america and i'm like ah. i just you know it was funny i was just on here too when i was talking to linda uh because no we didn't go down the rabbit hole together on wish again <laughs> but I've been, I kind of do like she she does. You can put yourself like a five dollar limit and that includes shipping. But you find the free items, you find a few that you like with different decent shipping items. Oh, you know those little kind of like rubber? They kind of look like duck bills, and you put them on just the finger. Your finger, you just you slide your fingers in. They're on wish, and they're to take stuff out of an oven. And I thought, man, okay, a set of those came in. I thought, man. He's not going to work because, I mean, that oven is really hot. They do, though. They work great. Why are you not coming up? Taking forever. Probably because we're storming here. Hmm. I don't know. I know I got internet. Yeah. Are we coming up? Maybe. Let's see. Yeah, I have internet and everything. Okay, there it finally is. When it came up. Okay, let's see where it is. Dark Tourist. That is a really good, really, really good um, series it looks like it's gonna be. So, you know, if you're interested, check that out. So, oh, now we're over to YouTube. YouTube. YouTube delicious. It's taking a little bit to load. Because it's storming here and stuff. So I'm very, very excited to see what the Orange is the New Black um, season is like. Come on. There, finally loading. Must be some pretty choppy internet. No, I got full internet. I remember back when we were living in the RV park, of those of you guys have been with me for a while, and, um, uh, uh, they were saying um, how, uh, remember how I, we used to have to fight the internet all the time. We used to have to go down and reset it all the time until we finally got got ours. And even when we got ours, then it was so slow. We were with Comcast and it was, yeah, Comcast. And it was just, no my with, yeah, and it was just horrible. Okay. Come on. Come on. Why are you not? Why are you taking so long? My internet is kind of flaky this morning. Come on. What are you doing? Okay. There we go. 
Come on. There we go, finally. <laughs> Immunity. Okay. 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 Oh, and real fast while I'm doing this, I wanted to say, Angie, I'm sorry I missed your phone call yesterday. I did not realize that um, uh, that you had called. I was on. I was on another phone call. So, you know, we'll have to set up a time that we're both, you know, awake and stuff, and have a chit chat. Okay, first one is from Rebecca Miller six days ago. Yes, leggings are very snug fitting. I lived in them during my pregnancy, low. But they aren't forgiving in our lady biz area <laughs> or rear. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be one of the things I alter. With the sewing machine, it's, I don't like stuff that fits that tight. I'm a, I'm kind of a weirdo. Well, you guys know that. I know I know. y'all are going, we already knew that. Um, but I like the stuff that is loose fitting. I mean, uh, you know, the only thing I like to fit tight is my bra. Other than that, I don't, I like loose fitting clothes. I usually buy my clothes two or three times size bigger than I actually need, you know. So, um, yeah, I'm going to alter them. They're just a little too snug a -lug -a. Um, And Wacky Doodle Free Zone says, thank you for the shout out and sharing my channel with your sub. I appreciate it since new watchers are more than welcome. Hugs, XOXO. That is Peggy and she's a wonderful gal, you guys. And to go check out her channel and stuff. And, uh, you know, she's been doing YouTube for a long time. Took a bit of a break, but now she's back. Linda Crazy for Yarn said, great comment. This girl has long hair. Now look at the boy. See the difference, Lil? Too bad I can't make them bigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But she doesn't have gray hair and she has bangs. And I didn't know if those were paws. Maybe it was a monkey or not. And you know my eyesight's failing, girlfriend. She finally comments, that's what she does. Angie Lupa's life gave me a heart. I heart you back. Entertainment P and J. I liked your crochet vid. Maybe you like our crochet heaven vid. Um I don't know about that. I don't crochet, I loomed it, so um you know, I'll have to check out your channel later on. Rebecca Miller just melted off some hats, should have should be there in about three days. I wish I had waited until this afternoon because I just got pictures printed and I wish I could have added one to your package. Next month, I'll send one. I'll send a picture of the girls with the hats. Oh, I would absolutely love that, Rebecca. I would absolutely love that. And please tell little Miss Hadley that I have that beautiful picture she colored me proudly displayed on my fridge. So, you know. And if you need any more of those big magnets that I sent you with the um, uh, uh, with the paint underneath and stuff, let me know and I'll send you some more. But I really, really appreciate the hat. And they're beautiful as always. So I might, I've got a little bit of an allergy thing going on today. I don't know why. But Rebecca Miller, five days ago, said beautiful work as always. Well, thank you. Uh, Linda. Crazy Bjorn says, cute hat. And Angie Lupus Life says, great hat. I heart everybody. That's how you know if I read your comments or not. Wackadoodle Free Zone. Hi there, lady. Great work on the hats and stuff. Thanks for sharing with us. Take care. Hugs and blessings. Thank you. And, and I haven't seen any more videos from you in a few days. Or unless I'm just missing them because I haven't really been on... YouTube too much or Facebook and that's one thing I want to say is if you're friends with me on Facebook please don't be offended if I don't like or comment on a post I may or may not have seen it I don't go on Facebook hardly at all I may sometimes skip three four days without going on there and it's nothing like it's not that I don't care about you guys it's just you guys know that I keep really busy now and, you know, between the loom knitting and painting and like that sewing and, um, 
the critters and Brad and the cooking and stuff. Sometimes I just, I keep myself really busy, so um, there's no real excuse I'll make a better effort, but I just wanted to tell you that. And Linda Crace Bjorn said, uh, um, great hats from Becca and what a great picture from Hadley. Yes, indeed. Becca Miller, double heart. Angie Lupus Life, rainbow and heart. Angie Lupus Life said, this country desperately needs health care coverage for all citizens at no cost to them. Yes, we do. As flawed as, and I know there's many people that think that Canada's health care system is very flawed, and I know a lot of Canadians that probably think that it's very flawed. And I don't think there's any perfect system. But I have to say honestly, and this is just my viewpoint, my very limited knowledge viewpoint of, you know, I only know what some people living in Canada have told me. But I think it's a hell of a lot better than than ours is. It shouldn't be that only if you have money and stuff. Because even those of us that have health care insurance, we can't we don't go and have the test run. They should be run because we can't afford the co pays and stuff. And but on the other side I know from what I know of and I'm not saying again I can't speak for absolute truth that a lot of Canadians uh, it seems like that their doctors and stuff don't want to run the test you know and don't want to be proactive so I don't know but you know it shouldn't be where you can't get what you need and you can't have proper medical care anywhere in the world uh, and and I, I so agree with you wackadoodle free zone Peggy says Hi, Brad, Fur Babies and Teresa. Nice to see you again. Great vlog. Enjoy your dinner. Well, I hope you enjoyed your dinner. Hug, XO. Thank you so much. Carol Caff said, I compare so many prices on websites and in sell papers. Sometimes I feel like my head is about to explode, at which point I drop everything and do something else. <laughs> your pendants are pretty. Thank you so much. Um, you know, I used to do that. I don't do it here because... Unless you're going to go up into Tallahassee, um, we only have a Win Dixie here, which nobody goes to. You would, if you saw the conditions and stuff in there, you wouldn't want to either. And no offense to anybody that works in any other Win Dixie um, or Walmart. So, and we're not into going up into Tallahassee, fighting the traffic, fighting the crowds and stuff to go hop around. So. You know, but um, I still do compare prices. I have to take that back. I still do compare, like, online prices for appliances, household goods, things we need. You know, Amazon, eBay, a few other sites. Um, Dollar Tree, you can order in stuff at no extra cost. You know, you usually have to order by the case, and that usually stops me unless it's something I know I'll use, so. Who knows? But I used to really in love. I used to do a lot of couponing, too. Uh, Rebecca Miller said, beautiful work as always. Thank you. Rebecca Miller, you're number three. I plan to pass your work down to my girls and we'll leave a note with them about you, who you are, and how we met. I want to leave that note with the pieces so they pass them to their children. They know the story behind them. You know, that's so sweet of you. That's very sweet of you. Uh, I only, Dave Nicholson says, I only do digital art now. I upload to a site and let people download it and use it as they like. I love seeing people change it and add to it. I honestly do 90% abstract and it's 6% form, 40% of emotion. I've also lost the ability to draw by hand. Uh, it's literally like when I was a child again. Sigh, but oh well. Good to hear your answers. Uh, you could, you know, I was that way once I went, started college again when I turned 40. Um, but it does come back to you. I mean, but maybe you're not, maybe you're just happy with what you do. And that's great too. Um, <laughs> Dave Nixon, you knit three words, cat butt coasters. They evidently sell well. Yeah, I see. No, those are cute. Those are cute. Um, you know, I mainly just knit 
for for donation. So um, if you on my Etsy, in fact, I pulled all but I think I have some sachet ruffle sachet scarves in there, but everything else on my knitwear I pulled. I'm just donating them because you know every month I need more donations. I need to donate more. So um, like this month is Minnesota, and um, so. But, you know, I made jellyfish and um, octopuses and mermaids and all kinds of hats, scarves, blankets, you know. Uh, but, Linda Crazy, I'm very pretty pendant. That chicken sounds good, but the chocolate chip cookies sound better. <laughs> yeah, they were good. Um, Brad really likes them. And like I said, they've got half the sugar as normal ones, you know. So, and I, I was gonna, I thought about dropping them. So usually, you know, I, you and I usually anymore do the bar, uh, the pan cookies because we don't want to stand there and drop them. And then I thought, especially for Brad's mom, they're, they're softer when they're bar cookies. So, yeah. So, you, you already know all this, Linda, because we already talked a little bit ago. So, you know. Um, Susan Moorfield said, bye, Brad. Lynn B. says, thanks for sharing. Pretty, pretty, pretty pendant. They would look nice on a ribbon or leather, too. I didn't think about ribbon. That's, that's a good point. Hugs, God bless, and then a lot of flowers. I figure when I list them this Friday, i got to do some more. Um, but when I list them this Friday, I'm going to just list them like that, and people can either put them on a train or leather or ribbon, like you said. So, yeah. You know, and that way, too, the way they are, that's a good point. And the way they are, if somebody wanted to, they could put them on a keychain or they could put them on, um, you know, some of them they could even just put, um, like this kind, they could even put a pin through if they wanted to wear it on their lapel or something. But, um, or they can put a chain and, and you know, so, yeah. Brad originally wanted to send his mom this one, but the problem was, even though I could thread the leather through that this hole, it wouldn't lay right. He didn't have another O-ring, O-ring or jump ring, I think they're called. Um, so yeah. Then B said, "Wish we got some rain. We got plenty of it here." And you, Lucas, I said, "Awesome answers. Really enjoyed hearing them. Big hug. Thank you. Love ya." Dave Nicholson says, oil always makes a difference. Everything is slow cooker for me now. I only eat meat when I'm out for dinner, trying hard to stick to the bean diet. Nice, you're sending something. Oh, yeah, to his mom. Um, all, you know, all, all my respect to you guys that can do that where you're not eating meat. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a I like my meat, um. We don't eat as much meat as we used to, but we definitely do like our meat, especially our seafood stuff. So, um, you know, and I'm just not a big fan of the beans. Um, and the beans, if bad were to have them scare me, you know what I mean. Just like Linda and I were talking about liquid ass. You don't want to know what we talk about. <laughs> Rick Miller says, so nice to send his mom a care package. I'm so glad you're able to get a new sewing machine. I am too. I'm going to go play with it later on. I didn't get off work till late this evening. I'm making goulash tonight, so I'll probably get in there and play with it. Um, thanks for sharing. You two are awesome. This is from Lindby. They're awesome. Nice to be able to send your mom, mom-in-law a nice package. I don't know who doesn't like thinking of you package in the mail. She's a very lucky mom. Nice sewing machine. I feel so bad for her. Continued prayers, hug. God bless. You know, that's the hard thing, and I know everybody goes through it, whether it's your mother, your your mother in law, or somebody you just love that's elderly. And this woman loves to talk. That's always been part of our problem is because she likes to talk about everybody. But um uh what was I going to say? But for what she's going through and, and, 
and struggling to speak and, and we know it will get worse but you know um we just hope she doesn't suffer too much and just try and make her comfortable and that's what the whole thing is right now is just giving her love and making her as comfortable as possible keeping any of the fighting with with this going on with with the siblings and stuff we're not fighting with siblings or anything um at bay she doesn't need to know any of that you know but that would really greatly upset her and stuff so um we just keep in co close contact with her sister and they make brad and his sister make decisions together and stuff so linda creates fiance a great sewing machine this is me oh <laughs> and a heart <laughs> you and i were talking about that the brother sewing machine no people anybody that has a brother sewing machine Tell me this is not true. I read the pamphlet and it said that the bobbins are different on the, so on the brother sewing machine as opposed to regular thread bobbins. I have about 50 of these thread bobbins, okay? And it said not to use them because it would damage the machine. So, is this true? I'm going to have to get out some of my bobbins. Because like I said, I kid you not, I have about 50 of them. Because when I did a lot of seamstress work and was sewing every day, um, you know, for multiple hours a day, I would fill, I would take the time and I would fill up all whatever some bobbin, 50 bobbin, uh, you know, part in black, part in white, different colors. And so I would have them all there so I didn't have to stop, unthread my machine fill a bobbin while I was sewing. Now I'm not doing seamstress work like that. I, I don't think I'll get back into the business of selling a lot of sewn stuff. You know, this is just for my pleasure, but still kind of sucks. But anyway, it is what it is. Um, if that is the case, I probably will be giving away bobbins because I have metal ones, plastic ones. Yeah. So R R and that's Queen B who um husband was tragically killed um on July fifth. Uh says uh this is Bob's favorite and so easy. It's a keto connect easy cashew chicken. Thank you. I will pass that on to Brad. I will tell him about that. And then she also said nine hours ago, thanks you all so much for the cross. Made me ugly cry for sure. It was such a thoughtful gift. I miss my B so much. Your feels so unreal. Love you, bees. Okay, now let me... Okay, you guys know I call her Queen Bee. And the bee is for itch. Yes. And so she always called me that, too. You know, because, you know, quite frankly, some of us women can really get that our itch on sometimes. It's just dating a fact. And so, but she, her husband's name was Bob. But sometimes she called him Barbara. But sometimes... He was acting like a little itch, too, you know, like everybody does. So, yeah, so that's why all the bees. So, you know, love, we love you, too. Uh, and you, Lupus, I said, cool sewing machine two hours ago. Thank you, with a quilted heart. You must have been either up early or up really late and haven't gone to sleep yet. So, yeah. I want to talk to you, Andy. I want to set up a time to speak a Swiss Jewist, rightest, afferist, Jewist, eatest, your lunchistest, okay? Because nobody wants to talk to the Angiest when she's really, really hungriest, you know? Well, we do, but we feel bad for you because you're so hungry. So as soon as you get done eating lunch, before you go on your gaming, we need to communicate and transpire, and I need to push you on your artwork some more. Anyway, that's all the comments for today. And you guys are like, oh my God, thank God. And she's just driving us crazy 34 minutes. And I'm going to have to get Mama outside because she wants outside. This little dog dog. Come here, little dog dog. Come here. Oh, my no. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Woo. There you are. There you are. Are you going to say hi to everybody? Are you going to say hi to everybody? You tell me you were barking and threatening, threatening to, to jump off the bed this morning. 
I kept telling you, hang on. I was in the bathroom doing my business. And she was just acting a little crazy. I'm like, hang on. Don't jump. <laughs> All right? You're a good girl. She said, if I want to go outside now again, Mom. Don't you want to go outside again? Not bad for 16, are you? Hmm? Are you a good girl? Hmm? You gonna look at them? No. <laughs> I love you too. Oh my god. Are you ready to get off here? You need to go outside again. We've been having a love affair now for 16 years. She sleeps with me. She puts her little butt in. She gets on the bed. I lift her on the bed at night. And then she puts her little butt in. So she's right up against me, her butt and her back. And then I'll cover her up. She likes it covered up. Call it getting her burritoed. And then she lets out the biggest groan. Like, oh. Okay. And you're all happy. I have a, even have a little pillow for her head. That she loves, huh? Is that right? I'm a good girl. Mm. Okay. Okay, we can get off there. You want to get down now? Okay. And let me lay you down. There you go. Okay, we're going to get off here. <coughs> I think I swallowed some dog hair there. <laughs> anyway, I love you guys, and I do cherish your friendship so much. And I think you guys are awesome. And I will see you tomorrow, okay? Love you. Bye.